Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin from TJJ Games, and today I'll be bringing you an attack replay video. So, yeah, I've been attacking quite a bit, and see, really good rates. The um the last one, the thirty-four trophies, hundred percent, is my revenge me number one. So I'm not gonna show that because you can watch it. So this guy, pretty upgraded, has low level air defense, but oh my gosh, those infernal towers, super good. So basically, I'm just trying to drop the clock castle troops, lure them out, like install them. But I realized that there are more like more clan castle troops, so that's not that good. So basically, I'm just gonna spam in all my balloons. Basically, you can't do anything if there's if the balloons are in one place except wizard tower and maybe high level, but I don't think it affects it that much. So I will just spread them around. Uh, Landon from no early games like to spread them around, but then I just think clumping them up are so much better because you can overkill bases. So well, this guy has high level Teslas, and then as you can see, I only dis did, um, destroy 59% of the base. But since the balloon to splash damage, while they're taking out the defenses, they also take out the storage. See, if you look at that storage, it's like 10 health or something. But yeah, that's the good thing about balloons, because they do splash damage, so you can take care of other buildings as well. So basically, this wizard tower, they did work on my balloons. Yeah, so my balloons got all destroyed, and then I got 200k of each, or 170k, I don't remember, but around 200k so I just surrender because I didn't want my Archer Queen to die um next one is 100% this guy is pretty upgraded it's just he doesn't have a really good base if this is you I suggest changing it to to um to not make it where there's a big compartment in the center and then yeah so there's not really anything to say about this guy. Oh, yeah. My um, strategy for this one is um, just, just wait. Take care of Clan Castle first, and then I just drop a couple barbarians to test out if there's any spring traps. And then since there's no spring trap, I just drop in all my giants. Yeah, see? And then. Once the mortar shell lands on them, drop two wall breakers to break it because you don't want your wall breakers to die. So spam in all your barbarians and then couple of your archers. And then after the wall is breaking in and then you got a threat path to the resources, drop the rest of your wall breakers and then flood in your goblins. Yeah. Thank you, sleeves, for the um, giants because those can tank. And then, yeah, just drop goblins a little bit at a time so. The mortar doesn't take it all out, and then just drop, just drop the king and queen for backup. So yeah, pretty much I three star this battle. But I think if he would have rearranged his base more compartments, I would not have got three stars. So yeah, so just sit back and enjoy, and I'll talk after this replay is done. And this guy has like hundred. 170k of each. I'm thinking 100k of each is good enough. Yeah. But usually I get around 250k of each when I'm farming, so that's pretty good. And then the goblins just break through the wall so quickly. So Tesla and Cannon left. Yep, three stars again. It's really good. And then to our last battle, I used a yeah the same army composition. I really like the army composition. Yeah, so this one is um all collector ready. And basically, as you can see, the collectors is almost full. So I got two hundred eighty k of each, and I was gonna get three star, but my giants didn't go the right way. Um. So just take out the king and queen person. Since I know he's not active, he doesn't have clan council troops. Plus he's not in the clan, so and then um same strategy. And this guy has really poor mo mortars. Somehow he just I think he gemmed his expos. And 
and his wizard tower are really low too that's like level three is maxed out level six town hall so and the wall breakers are so stupid i wanted them to go in there but then the giants took care of it so yeah this guy probably gemmed his level five because he has a level five wizard tower and then three 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 and then level two expos so um yeah see archer queen basically my strategy is you use the giants to t distract the buildings and take out the buildings while the archer queen and some archers and barbarians um go into the backup and just destroy everything so so i was really happy with the result and then make sure that when you're not when you know you're not going to get three stars and all the resources is gone make sure to surrender because you don't want your king and queen to take longer to regenerate and yeah basically get two stars almost three stars but then my giants got killed by the wizard tower what? and i recommend um, the first level six troop you upgrade is giants because giants gain 130 health that's and then the second one maybe archers because archers are really good but then the thing about archers is it only gains by 4 hit points and 2 damage but it can survive a level 5 mortar hit so so basically that's it for this video I'll be doing a, a push to master league since I got my witches and yeah basically that's it hope you enjoy don't forget to like subscribe comment share the video with your friends and peace out guys, I'll be doing a speed build today. Bye.